What is up guys, Joe here back with another video. Today is April the 2nd, 2022. And today I wanted to cover some technical analysis and price predictions on a couple of altcoins. And this includes Terra Luna, Solana, Avalanche, Polkadot, and Cardano. So at the beginning of 2022, we did enter a bear market in both the American stock market and the crypto markets. But as of April, 2022, it looks like the tide is changing, the trend is changing, and is beginning to curl upward. So today I wanted to look at a couple of these charts and see where we could be headed next. Let's get started. So from a macroeconomic picture, keep in mind the crypto market is only roughly 1% of the entire American stock market. So there is obviously a lot more money being moved trillions of dollars in the American stock market versus the crypto market. So with that being said, the crypto market is closely correlated to the performance of the American stock market. So if the stock market is up, that means crypto will be up as well. And if the stock market is down, that means the crypto market will be down. Crypto is still seen as a very volatile and risky asset class. So whenever there is volatility, institutions and large players like to trade and sell their holdings in crypto first simply because they're the most risky and the most volatile so when you get a green day in the Dow the Nasdaq or the S&P 500 that means you'll have a green day in the crypto market and the Dow is the top 30 American companies the Nasdaq is the top 100 tech companies and the S&P 500 is the top 500 American companies and this is a heat map view of all the different industries within the American stock market and keep Keep in mind, the crypto market is only roughly 1% of this entire market. So we obviously have bigger players out there moving more money. So with that being said, everything is also predicated on the performance of Bitcoin. Bitcoin is the largest coin by market cap and it's the one most held by institutions. So the price action does follow Bitcoin's movements. So if Bitcoin is up, that means all other altcoins underneath it will rise with it. And if you look at the Bitcoin, rainbow chart we are relatively trending sideways still historically speaking we're in this green zone here which means we're still at a pretty bargain price for Bitcoin which is still considered cheap considering the current price of Bitcoin is 45,000 that's roughly about half the price of the all-time high of 69,000 so if you were looking to buy Bitcoin itself now's a good time you could at least double your money if Bitcoin were to revisit its previous all-time high this year. So there is still time to buy Bitcoin and other coins as well. So with the price of Bitcoin moving upward the past two weeks, it has also brought up with it all the different altcoins we're about to cover. Solana, Terra, Cardano, Avalanche, and Polkadot. So the first coin here is the Terra Luna token. And as you can see, generally speaking, rising up in a general uptrend. And you can draw its support bar down here. This white line running across can be seen as support and I am seeing a triple top that was formed here here's the first top that was rejected second top that was rejected as well and finally we have our third top and we were able to break higher after that so generally speaking this price point can be seen as ultimate resistance previously so that was roughly at the 105 to 106 dollar mark and there's two scenarios that can play out here now that we've broken resistance we can continue pushing higher or if we do correct and we revisit this this would act as support and another scenario that could play out here is this ascending wedge pattern that's been playing out for the last couple of months. So that means this price action will be consolidating and finally the squeeze gets tighter and we can break out to the upside. And if we turn on our volume profile, judging by this volume node here at the $65 level, a lot of investors were buying the dip here. So there's a lot of demand here at the $65 level. And between 65 and the next point of demand, zone of demand is the $91 mark. So if we scroll higher, you do see here that this $91 mark is the next zone of demand where investors were buying the dip here. So again, 91 would act as support if we were to correct 
simply because that's where a lot of buyers are buying the dip and a lot of the demand lies. So in order to make an accurate price prediction of where the token could be headed next, we can draw some Fibonacci retracement zones in order to accurately predict future support and resistance line. So you would grab your Fib retracement tool here and drop it at the lowest point of the token previously and also the highest point of the token previously. So as you can see, Terra Luna is trading in this zone here between the $92 mark and the $160 mark. So if we're able to break through this, our next level of resistance would be the $147 price point. And if we're able to break through that, our next level would be the $187 price point. So that covers Luna. Now taking a look at Solana. Again, huge rally upward and we had a major correction. So we can also draw our support bar down here. This would act as ultimate support. And I'm also noticing Solana was trading in this channel, a downward channel. So here's a well-defined channel. This is also support here and that was acting as resistance there. So finally we were oscillating and we broke through resistance and now we're trending higher. So if we turn on our volume profile, so the previous zone in demand was at the $87 price point and investors were definitely buying the dip at around this point. And so now judging by this volume node, our next zone in demand is here at the current price point of roughly 136. So beyond that, volume begins to fall here, but our next level, next zone in demand is the 192 price point. That's where more investors were buying. The dip so you can safely say this would be our next level of resistance the 192 dollar price points here but moving ahead you do see that demand begins to falter as the price increases so anywhere between 192 and 136 is a perfect entry point for you for solana and we can draw some fibonacci retracement zones in order to accurately predict future support and resistance lines so you would grab your FIP retracement tool here, drop the first anchor at the lowest point of the token, and the second point would be at the highest point of the token. So moving ahead, our next price prediction would be the 78% retracement zone, and that's a price target of 209. If we're able to break through that, our next level of resistance would be the 100% retracement zone, which is the previous all-time high of 261. And if we're able to break through that, our next price target would be the 127% retracement zone which is a price target of 327 so definitely keep an eye out on solana there's a huge runway for recovery here great risk reward ratio so our next token here is avalanche and generally speaking in an upward trajectory as well has been trending upward for the last couple of months so support can be found down here and i'm also noticing resistance above and we were having a lot of consolidation happening and through this ascending wedge, we were finally able to break resistance and now we're pushing higher. And if we turn on our volume profile, you do see that there was a huge zone of demand at the $63, $64 price point, which is here. So investors were buying the dip here and our next zone of demand is here, which is at the $86 price point. So more investors were buying the dip here. But if we move ahead, you do see that demand begins to fall as the price increases. So definitely the $86 price point is a great entry point judging by the huge zone of demand here. So let's draw some Fib retracement zone to see where the coin could be headed next. So our next level of resistance would be the 78% retracement zone and that's a price target of $117. And if we're able to break through that, our next level of resistance would be the previous all-time high of $147. And if we're able to break through that, our next level of resistance would be the 127% retracement zone, and that's a price target of $185 with 57 cents. So super bullish on Avalanche as well. They have a ton of great projects in the works and a lot of institutional adoption happening on their blockchain. So next up is Polkadot and I am seeing a somewhat neutral chart here, a lot of volatility and we did get a double top here. Here's the first top and got rejected. Second top got rejected, but also we're getting a double bottom. So every time it bottoms out, it recovers and here's another bottom and recovery is happening now. So it's safe to assume from here, we'll push higher and revisit another top and hopefully break through that and push to new all time highs. So we can draw our support bar down here. This would act as ultimate support. And resistance above, this is ultimate resistance up here. 
So definitely Polkadot has its work cut out for it. There's a lot of price action and upward movement that needs to happen for Polkadot to revisit its previous all-time high at $54. And I'm also noticing Polkadot was trending in this downward channel. So here is the support line for the downward channel and resistance above. And very similar to Solana, it was in this downward trajectory and then finally managed to break out of resistance and hopefully continue higher. And if we turn on our volume profile, we do see that there was a huge zone of demand here at the $15 price point. So definitely a lot of investors would buy it there. So our next zone of demand is the $28 price point here, judging by this volume node. So that'll act as our next level of resistance, the $28 zone. And above that, our next level of resistance would be the $34 price point here. Again, more investors are buying the dip at that price point. But as the price increases higher, investor demand lowers. So less investors are buying Polkadot at the higher price prices and more were buying it at the lower price point down here. So to make a price prediction on Polkadot, we can draw our Fib retracement zones. So our next level of resistance here would be the $36 price point. That's the 61% retracement zone. The next level of resistance would be the $44 price point. And the absolute resistance is the previous all time high of $55. But if we're able to break through that, our next level of resistance would be the 127% retracement zone. And that's a price target of $68. And if we're able to break through that, our next level of resistance would be the 161% retracement zone, which is a price target of $86. So big fan of Polkadot as well, a great risk to reward ratio. And like I mentioned, it looks like the trend is correcting here and every time it bottoms out, it definitely begins to continue trending higher. So keep your eye out on Polkadot. And finally, our last chart is Cardano. So we did have a massive push higher, but at the same time, a massive correction, leaving a lot of people disappointed. So generally speaking, not the best looking chart, but we can try to dissect the price action here. So we do have a bit of a head and shoulders pattern here. Here's a shoulder. We have a huge head here and another shoulder, but it failed to break out from this pattern and traded lower. So we can draw our support line down here. This is our ultimate support and if we look closer we can draw a well-defined channel in this downtrend so here's our channel trending downward and resistance above so similar price action to the coins i mentioned earlier this is trending downward downward and it broke through resistance here and it looks like it finally wants to push higher and if we turn on our volume profile, we definitely see a huge zone of demand here at the $115 price point. So any price point here is a great entry point for you, $115. There's a huge demand here. But the unfortunate thing I'm also noticing is this is where most investors were buying the dip. But as the price goes higher, not a lot of demand for Cardano. So as the price trends upward, less and less people were buying the dip, less purchasing volume happening here. So definitely be careful with Cardano. If you're a long-term holder, this is where you want to buy it at, at the $115, $116 price point. There's not a lot of demand at the higher price level. So that means it could easily correct very quickly if we were to have another correction. So if you're a long-term investor, definitely buy the dip at the $115 mark. So let's draw some Fibonacci retracement zones. And our first anchor would be at the lowest point of the token. And the second anchor would be at the highest point of the token. So a very accurate retracement zone happening here. If we zoom in, Cardano got rejected at the $1 and $22 price point. But if we manage to push higher, we can trend to the next level of resistance, which is the 50% retracement zone. That's a price target of $1.59. And our next level of resistance would be the 61% retracement zone and that's a price target of $1.94 and if we're able to break through that our next level of resistance would be the 78% retracement zone and that's a price target of $2.44. And finally, our previous all-time high is the 100% retracement zone, and that's a price target of $3.09. But in the future, if we were to break all-time highs, our next level of resistance would be the 127% retracement zone, and that's a price target of $3.90. And finally, our ultimate price target here would be $4.94, and that's a 161% retracement zone.
So Cardano showing a very neutral to bearish chart here. I am a Cardano owner and holder, and that's because I bought Cardano at a low price. Like I said, you should be buying Cardano at the $1.15 price point. It doesn't make too much sense to be buying Cardano at these other higher price points because there's weakening demand as the price point rises. Investors are not buying the token as the price increases. They're buying it at this price point down here. So Cardano definitely has a bumpy road ahead of it. I'm still gonna hold my tokens, but like I said, definitely buy at the lower price point. So if you were to ask me in what order would I recommend these tokens, and judging by the healthiest to the unhealthiest looking charts, I would rank them in this order. Strictly based off of technical analysis, my pick for the top altcoin here would be Luna. Luna has the healthiest looking chart and has been generally trending upwards for months and months. You can bet that the trend will continue higher. My second pick would be Avalanche. Again, second healthiest looking chart. General uptrend and investors are buying the dip. Third would be Solana. Great risk to reward ratio. It had a massive correction, but investors are buying the dip and it wants to continue pushing higher. Fourth would be Polkadot. Not the healthiest looking chart. We're talking neutral to bearish looking chart, but I'm a big believer in their ecosystem. They have a lot of projects in the works. And finally, Cardano. This is the unhealthiest looking chart. Generally neutral to bearish, not a lot of price action and not a lot of demand for Cardano at the higher price price points. So I cannot recommend Cardano at a higher price point. So like I said, all of this price action is dependent on where Bitcoin is headed. If Bitcoin is up, then all the other altcoins will follow with it. And definitely keep an eye out on the rainbow chart for Bitcoin to see where we could be headed next. And don't forget to keep your pulse on the American stock market. Again, much more money being moved in the American stock market, which affects the crypto market as a whole. So let me know what you think about my technical analysis and price predictions. Tell me which one is your favorite coin and why. Drop a comment in the comment section. And if you want me to do more videos like this, definitely let me know. I can continue doing more technical analysis for you. So I hope you found this information helpful. If you have any questions, please leave a question in the comment section. I'll be happy to respond. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you on the next one. Mm-hmm.